I've been trying to meditate and the thing about like radical acceptance of reality is that it's kind of like you're just kind of a cuck and the universe is fucking your life and you just have to sit in the corner in a dark corner in a chair and you know try to stay hard but it's okay you know it's consensual I guess do you like it? I love it How do I make 9-11 funny? <laughs> seems, seems I've had a, a lot of thought do. about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've had a lot of thoughts about that. What I said is, well, I've had a lot of thought about that. <laughs> I've been meaning to wonder about, about I've been that. meaning to wonder about 9-11. Do you feel like in terms of when you make jokes about 9-11 or just any, you know, horrible atrocity, you never forget. Yeah. Do you feel like it's less about the content of what you're saying and more of how you present it? Absolutely. I think that this was a disappointing realization that I came to as a young comedian when I realized how much of stand-up and successful stand-up is, is confidence. Um, and in fact, you can get away with some pretty shitty jokes mm. if, if you uh, believe in them and yourself. And, um, and I realized that because I uh, had... Uh, severe addiction to Adderall mm. about two years in and suddenly all my jokes that always only did okay were doing awesome because mm. I didn't believe that I could feel pain or die <laughs> um so Adderall just kind of made you a white man Adderall made me a white man and it worked there you go Adderall that's your new slogan <laughs> Feel the white man. I used to not speak up to my boss before Adderall, but after this, he's paying me double. I never had the courage to beat my girlfriend, and now I'm on Adderall. <laughs> now, I, now, and now she can't walk. <laughs> and I can read. Here's the thing: people think I think that people don't like to hear about atrocities. They don't like to hear people trying to make light of things that are heavy, and I understand that. But I also think like at the same time, I think that it's more about our weird taboo shit, like the shit that we haven't dealt with around death. You know what I mean? Mm. Like we don't like in American like society and, and now I think more of the world, we we treat death very much like you don't talk about it. You don't think about it. Mm. You only mourn it. That's our only relationship with death. Acknowledge it when it happens and not really before that or after it or around it. You know mm. what I mean? And And I think that. Yeah, it's like, oh, you can't make jokes about 9-11 because you don't know what those people go through. But it's like, actually, we all have to contend with our eventual death. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And our death could be needless and purposeless and early, yeah. you know? And and I think that um, there's a lot of ways to talk about dark and heavy shit. I don't understand why comedically is like suddenly, oh, that's, that's the line. You know what I mean? Do you feel like... The goal, the goal is empathy. Right. Always. You know. you no, it's okay. God. That's just the goal is empathy. When 9 11 happened. 9 11 happened? When did it happen? What day exactly did it happen? You don't really go after mass shooters. Is it because you're secretly worried you're going to piss one off and then they're going to shoot you? Yeah. Have you read my comment sections? <laughs> it's literally, it's where mass shooters go to talk to each other. <laughs> Comedian reacts! <laughs> You know what I've decided? What? I'm not sending any more emails anymore. I'm not sending any emails. Why? Because I think if people want to reach me, they can send like a fax or a letter or they can just call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then the argument is like, well, what if I want to send you a PDF? Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know how to read. <laughs> I feel like you're... Acting like what I'm saying is ridiculous. If you can't read, it would probably, I feel like pretty much all forms of 
communication would be hard to use. First of all, what do you mean if I can't read? People have asked, like, because I joke I can't read, but I actually can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Leah Michelle. She, yeah. though, there's like a rumor going around that she doesn't know how to read. And always the comment sections are like so mean and nasty to her. They're like, yeah. this bitch can't read. <laughs> it's basically just that she can't read. It, and, but whenever I read those comment sections, I'm like, what are people going to say when they find out about me? <laughs> Why are they being so... Lots of girls can't read. <laughs> Most. Oh. Well. Men, when they're having, like, serious... Men, when they're having, like, serious talks with each other, call each other man. Like, yeah. they refer to... Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like, hey, man, listen. Yeah. Like, man, I know. Or, like, man... Like, Tell over and over. It, like, man. anytime they're being vulnerable, they're yeah. referring to... And I think that... It, I don't really have a joke for this, but I think it's because they're, like, affirming that for men. each other that they're still men, <laughs> even though other. they're acting like bitches. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I'm still a man, right, yeah. man? I'm You're still like, a I'm man. Still a man I'm dude. still a man, dude. Can I tell a quick story? Yeah. I had to go to the grocery store to get two things. They were butt wipes oh. and a COVID test. <sighs> I do remember that. So I had to go to the CVS and it was a CVS in our neighborhood where everything is locked at the CVS. So if you want anything at all, mm -hmm. you have to go get a helper to escort you. I, but I also couldn't find the butt wipes. And he was like, what like kind of butt wipes? Like for children? For babies? Yeah. And I was like, no, for... <laughs> I need them for adults. <laughs> I like literally I basically said to him no it's for my butt do you have ones that are for adults <laughs> so then he like brought me there and then he unlocked it he's like these are probably what you want and they were it was for grown-ups and they worked amazing um and then <laughs> and then I went to the front and it's just one guy working there mm -hmm. so he kind of just walked with me to the front to purchase the butt wipes and the COVID test is behind the desk. And I was like, can I also have a COVID test? So he's like, this person is leaking shit out of their butt, out of their adult butt. <laughs> and they have a horrible disease. <laughs> and then my card declined. <laughs> hey, can I use your uh, restroom? Oh, yeah, of course. Is that for here to go? To go? to go we need you to donate money to the patreon and if you don't we have to give uh this dog a cigarette um the dog has been a smoker for a lot of years and finally quit it, it's kind of like we won't prevent the dog from stopping smoking if you don't give us money because we won't have the time to you don't know what's coming to you cigarettes as you know are bad for people they're even worse for small dogs and if you don't give us five dollars every month to record Ruby the show, we're going to turn this dog into a bad boy um, and not a charming kind, like a, a rapey sort of small dog. The thing is, is that if you don't donate, you leave us no choice. Come here. Come here. Do you want to see this dog smoke cigarettes? <laughs> then give us money right now. Um, also, we need it because we're working with limited materials and we just broke half of them. <laughs> so please, <laughs> please give us money. Thanks. <laughs> Stars will fall for you to see You're everything I wanna be You got it all on Beauty beyond bounds of infinitude And all the things will be